Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video, I got a new scanner to replace my other ones that I got. I don't think I'm going to need another scanner after purchasing this one. This one is the Autel Maxi Sys MS906BT Advanced Diagnostic and Information System. Let's do an unboxing and see what's inside the box. So it looks like we got a Pelican style case. That's pretty, pretty beefy. That's meaning business right there. It's the first time opening this up. Wow. So there's the scanner. That's the Bluetooth. Look at the accessories. This one came with the camera inspection. All sorts of cables, power adapter. Now these, I mean, obviously must be OBD1 plugs, which are pretty much obsolete nowadays, but you never know when they might come in handy. Hopefully never anytime soon. So this is the scanner itself. It looks pretty fancy. You can see the light and reflection. So underneath it, got a quick start guide, some instructions. A little pad so i guess the first thing i'm going to do is uh charge it up update it before we look at it couple hours in and we're still updating so now this is your main screen diagnostics of course you choose whatever vehicle or you hit the auto vin It'll automatically detect what kind of vehicle it is. The service is all the special features that you can do. Now, of course, not every vehicle can do these features, but there's a lot that you can do. This is a different module that you could hook up. The shop manager keeps a record of all your vehicles. I've already done my truck, my Jetta. Uh, I looked at a four x four van. Academy, which is learning videos. Support is the same thing. You can click in there, it gives you all your info when your um, updates expire. Maxi fix is like a bulletin board that if you're having issues, uh, you can log in there and you can post your message. It takes a little bit for it to boot up. So here it is right here where people post questions, people can answer. I have the digital camera, but I'll bring that out at a later date. And of course, it is an Android device. So let's take this outside to my F-150 and uh, give you a brief rundown. Now, one thing I do want to point out is that if your computer can't do any of these features it'll tell you for example if I want to go to change tire size it'll go through and scan Ford USA and that's my VIN number and it'll say cannot decode VIN which means that module cannot work with your system F-150, so there you go, the coding failed. 
Now something that does work on the Ford is the power balance test. So we're gonna read the VIN. It's gonna decode it. Back to this screen. It's gonna tell me what the setup is. Go yes. And then it's gonna go to the cylinder balance test. Just load it up. And go to power balance. My truck does have a check engine light. So if I go in the dog diagnosis, auto detect. Ford USA. I'm just gonna put F. Gonna do it scan. Let's go to here, auto scan. It's gonna give me a bunch of readings here, powertrain control, two faults. It's gonna go through all the modules. So it says PCM fault two. These are the codes that I get. Of course, like any scanner, there's your, your live data. So I'm not gonna go into detail too much with this. These are the active tests that you can do. And that's found on this main screen. I'm going to clear the codes. Try that again. Should have had the key on, there we go. The screen here is some of the body modules you can go into. This one here is the one that I'm interested in because I got a parasitic drain going on in the truck and this has gave me an idea where to look. It says the auto lamp on circuit short to battery. So this scoot out of this, and one of the questions people want to know is uh, about programming.
Just going through a whole procedure right now, gaining security access. Taking a while to get security access can take up to 10 minutes. Well, we're almost there. It says the operation has been successful, security access granted. And from this screen here, I can program additional key, ignition code erasing program, customer spare key program enable, customer spare key program disable, unlimited key mode off, and etc. etc. And that's how you get into the programming, which is a lot of things people ask. So there you have it. This is a quick video of the Maxisys MS906BT. If you have any questions, post them down below. I'll try to do a video and answer them for you. However, in the upcoming videos and the months and that to come, you'll be seeing a lot of this in action. So this scanner will be able to do everything that I needed to do. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.